Okay, you've made it past the first round. Not too shabby. I'm sure Mr. Vitale will agree there's still plenty of games left to play, and one of them is this second round game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Washington Huskies. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. I like the matchup at the shooting guard position. Each player is expected to lead his respective team to victory. If either guy gets hot, watch out. The top 25, a list that over 300 schools try to make it on, and we get to watch two of them go at it head-to-head, -head, Dick. Oh, Mr. Nestle, I've been waiting for this one. These teams have some talented individuals who also play great team basketball. We will be entertained. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Down inside. Puts it in and out. Woods receives the ball. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a batting interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside. But they're playing with four people on the exterior. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. They look to get it to the inside. The hammers at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just to excite me with that jam. Robinson receives the ball. He attempts the jump shot. Excellent jump shot right there. Turnaround jumper. Nope. Pushes it up. He shoots from the corner. Doesn't go. Green. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop knowing he was going to get fouled. Well, Dick, here's a player in just his freshman year. Hey, being a student in college is quite an experience, but being a student athlete is something on a whole other level. There are a lot of challenges you have to meet if you want to keep your balance and be successful. Goes up for two, gets it to fall. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. In the lane, nails the J. Number four takes the feed. Dumps it in. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Cross court. He pulls up with a jumper. Jumper won't go. Outside jumper. Knocks it down. With a jumper. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Count that as a personal foul. So here we have a look at one of the sophomores for this team. Hey, underclassmen are an important part of any program. With a year under his belt, the coaching staff expects solid play from him. He missed it. Pulls it down. Robinson receives the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. He goes up with it. Gets the J to fall. Up and inside! For two, goes.
and the jam. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the dribble, get blocks the shot. And off the mark. Pushes it up. They'll give him that pass all night long. He puts up the three ball, nails the jumper. Here comes the ball screen. And we got a whistle and a foul. He is going to the line. Gets his first. Oh, he drained it. That's him a nylon. MBN. On the left side. That one finds its way out of bounds, but we'll keep it right here. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. The Huskies go into their zone motion now. Tries for two. He buries the shot. That's basic. From three-point land, they get it to go. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up, and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around. With the block, out of bounds, and we're not going anywhere. Baseline inbounds. Number 30 is called for. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boy's going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. He steps up to the line. That's a nylon NBN. Man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He launches a three and come up short. Anthony receives the ball. Alley oop for the bucket. Takes the and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That's a foul. Steps to the line for the freebie. Makes the first shot. Second shot, no good. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar, you too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. On the left side. He shoots from the deep corner. Missed it. On the left side. He takes the three. Perfectly executed. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He drains it. Try to pack it inside. Takes the jumper. Nope. They work it around the perimeter. No 
Goes up for two. Sinks it. They work it around the perimeter. For two. Scorches the net. Bad decision there by the freshman. Now on the run. Foul charge. Harris looks to record his first miss. He provides nice push offensively and defensively for this puck. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They might have him in some trouble here, Dick. Great trap, Brad. That trap could spell some trouble. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. They work it around the perimeter. Loose ball save. Turnover by the freshman. Out on the wing. With a deep shot from outside. Bust the J. Gave it up. Takes his jumper. Excellent jump shot right there. the dribble gives it up from the corner they got it control of the ball Johnson receives the pass scores it I think right now, got to focus defensively. Ten on the shot clock. Tries for two. Makes it. The defense is just getting caught out of position on those backdoor cuts, Dick. I tell you, what a great play. That's coaching. That's teaching. That's terrific execution. The backdoor cut from the weak side. The Tar Heels looking to attack now in transition. Woods is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Hey, he may need some. Nice rejection. The Tar Heels pushing the ball in transition for the bucket. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the J. Knocked it down. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Bust the jumper. Definitely a foul. in for his first go around tonight, Dick. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. 
I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. it down. That was a nice play, Dick. Well, they manufactured that basket through the high post. I guarantee you that they work on it every day in practice. Right. Handles the feed. He shoots from outside. Nails the jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. From the corner, off the mark. The small forward with the ball. Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. Tries for two. Got it. to three. He misses the fadeaway. Harris handles the pass. Turnaround jumper. Off the mark. Number four takes the pass. Puts up the jumper. They get it to go. Look how speed, I tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Seven minutes left on the game clock. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Bucket. He's money with the shot. They work the perimeter. He draws a foul. Manley makes the substitution back into the ball game. Well, Brad, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of energy he comes with. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses it. Second shot, good. Francis makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark, and he decided the floor, Brad. Shoots from right of the circle and score it. On the outside. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. About six minutes remaining in the game clock. Gave it up. And the slam. Wow, what a finish on that back cut. You know, Brad, as a coach, you teach your players to read the defender. And when he's not looking, deliver the pass.
It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. Looking for a good shot from beyond the arc. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Jumper won't go. Goes up, swatted away. Strong rebound, and now looking to move it down court in a hurry. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Jumper. Nails a sweet jumper. About five minutes remaining. On the left side. He shoots from the top of the circle. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Long lead pass. Obvious foul. Here's another solid junior, Dick. He's been around for a couple of years now. He knows what is capable of bringing to the team. This is a year when players start to transition into more of a leadership role and help get the most out of younger guys on the team. He misses it. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Inside for two. He makes the shot. The small forward handles the pass. Knocked it down. Working it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside and come up short. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. They go into the low block. Turnover committed by the freshman. Number four takes the feed. On the dribble, gives it up. From the corner. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Take some pride on a defensive end. With the J. Bust the jumper. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up with it. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Here's a double team. About three minutes remaining on the game clock. Trying to feed the low block. Now with about ten seconds to shoot. He misses the fadeaway. Black receives the pass. Here's the trap. Tries for two. It's good. On the outside. He shoots from the corner. The missed shot. About two minutes remaining on the game clock. He shoots from the deep corner. Missed it. Gave it up. Washington is now in the bonus.
How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Both free throws go. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Puts up the J. Scores it. They'll work it around the arc. The freshman commits a turnover. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nope. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots the jumper. Nails the J. One minute left on the game clock. Arm and foul. Step to the line for the free throw. Rims off. He makes his second shot. He may be in some trouble here. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. He hits the shot. He attempts the jump shot. Scorches the net with a J. Shot clock is dead. On the low block, he pulls up with a jumper. And it's blocked. That was nice. This guy's really known as more of a power guy. He has all the tools to play down low. He can put a lot of pressure on the defense. Jumper won't go. Gave it up. He goes to the line for the first time. No good. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. At the end of the first half, the Huskies are up by 12. Before we go any further, let's take a moment here and have a look at our game summer. I've been really impressed with just how hard both teams are playing. These numbers show you how they've been performing. Washington was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Going with a man-to-man -man full court press now, Dick. Shooter spotting up on a three. On the dribble, gives it up. And now the fadeaway jumper. Off the mark. They have one of the toughest things to get in sports. Experience. Experience is so important, Brad. See situations and knowing how to react to them correctly and quickly is a great, great thing. Misses the second. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. He launches a three. He makes the jumper. Feed the low post. Puts up the J. 
Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Unloads a three and come up short. And a momentary look from three-point land for the deuce. Sinks the shot. Down in the low block, trying to work the lane. I think they're trying to make a statement. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. He can't get one to fall. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. For two. Was that beautiful or what? Inside, a whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Number four to the line, shooting two. It's the first shot. Got to make the freebies. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. Dumps it in. Goes up for two. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. The small forward gets the pass. Number 30 is charged with the foul. Third team foul. Chance to get an easy one here. First one is no good. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Both shots no good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. They get it to go. The Huskies lead as we head into this timeout. More basketball coverage coming up. You think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. The Huskies set up in their zone motion. Gave it up. He can't afford to pick up another foul right now, Dick. Uh, that's his fourth foul, Brad. A very costly foul. Well, this is not one of the better free throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. I think they realize it's a problem, a problem which could cost them some really close games. Just like in practice. A great trap initiated by the defense. Up and inside. Uncharacteristic mistake by the senior. 
So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Kicks it out. He tries the three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. Two with a lay-in. The freshman has a brain cramp there and commits a turnover. And again, they look to run. Wow, look at him rotate over. With a layup. Looking for the pick now. Hey, the two-man game is great to watch when you have an intelligent dribbler and a skilled big man. Trying to pack it inside. Turnover by the freshman. Here they come now on a turnover. And now there's a whistle. They get it inside and a chance for a three-point play as they score. Opportunity now for an easy one. It's good. Got to get back on defense. Tries for two. Drains it. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the deep corner. Plus the jumper. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Shoots from outside. He misses the jumper. On the left side. Now they work it around the perimeter. He goes for the trifecta. He misses the J. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Huskies can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Doesn't go. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. Plus the J. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. That's a great indication of how frantic the pace has been, Brad. Johnson receives the ball for three. Missed it. In the post. Goes up with it. Rims out. Gave it up. Puts up the jumper. Scores it. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Huskies are going into their zone motion offense now. Green receives the pass. Looking for a good shot. He looks for three. He misses the fadeaway.
Try to feed inside. Hey, the defense is doing a great job of denying any shot opportunities off those screens. Can't connect. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Dumps it in. He shoots from the corner. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards like they are. Yeah, that helps. Well, this is not one of the better free throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. As a team, they need to improve in this department. Poor team free throw shooting costs a lot of teams' games. either they've got him right where they want him dick he goes right past the trap right around the trap they work the perimeter he shoots from left to the circle he can't get the ball on the dribble gives it up for the bucket can't get it to go On the outside. Makes it. Looking for a good shot. With a fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. Jumper won't go. Let's take another look at our star watch. Washington is in the bonus. He goes to the free throw line. He can't get one to fall. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. Lots of rim, but not in. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. Dumps it in with the J. Knocked it down. Going to move it around the perimeter. He goes up with it. He knocks down the jumper. Number four is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Makes the second shot. Traps in place, Dick. Working it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Lays it up. Gave it up. Takes his jumper. And he can't hit the shot. With the J, knocks it down. On the dribble, gives it up, takes the jumper. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Great shot. the way he looks 
for three. Nails the jumper. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The fadeaway. Off the glass and no good. Gave it up. Jumper. He buries the jumper. Puts up the runner. Off the glass and no good. visit the charity strike he misses the first they haven't been able to put it in from the line all night hey this is how you win ball games guys gets the second shot trying to go inside he may be in some trouble here trying to come up with a steal and they do Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the right side. Too much. That's a foul. The Tar Heels, not the greatest free throw shooting team, Mr. Vitale. As a team, they need to improve in this department. Poor team free throw shooting costs a lot of teams games. Foul shot is not good. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. He tries the three ball. Off the mark. On the right side. He puts up the J, off the mark. Number four receives the ball. The Huskies should consider switching their current tempo and mindset to more of a half-court game with the time and score on their side. That seems to make sense to me, Dick. It'll be interesting to see if they make this change, Brad. At this point, I think it'll be most beneficial for them to concentrate on playing offense in the half-court and, most importantly, keep the clock running. Dumps it in. He shoots from the corner. Nope. Pushes it up. For two, you betcha. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You got to take care of the rock, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. The missed shot. There was no doubt about that one. The Tar Heels got some good ball reversal there. You know, Brad, when you move the ball like that, defenses get off balance and out of position. Timeout call. We'll get back to the action right after this. ready to get things back going again after the timeout. Zone motion now. Goes up for two. Gets it to go. I'll tell you, Brad, what a breakdown defensively. 
On the outside, we're at the seven minute mark. Launches the three. I wish somebody would knock down a shot. And that guy had 1,400 on his boards. And look at him running out there like a wacko. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Puts up the jumper. Scores it. Number 14 with the foul. First personal foul. Steps to the line for an easy one. Hits the first. He hits the shot. They'll work it around the arc. He goes up with it. Missed the jumper. Pushes it up. About six minutes remaining in the game clock. He takes the three. He misses the jumper. On the right side. Dumps it in. That one finds its way out of bounds, but we'll keep it right here. Dumps it in. He goes up with a jumper. He misses the J. The power forward receives the pass. He misses the jumper. On the left side. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The floor. He misses the J. The shooting guard takes the pass. About five minutes remaining. He shoots from downtown. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. For the deuce, he drains the jumper. Cross court. He unloads a three. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. In the post. He tries the jumper. Nails the sweet jumper. About four minutes remaining. the feed. He shoots from downtown. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Had a momentary look from three-point land. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Goes up for two. Rims out. Dumps it in. Tries for two. Rims out. The 
shooting guard gets the pass. About three minutes remaining on the game clock. Up and inside. He attempts the trifecta. Jumper won't go. Pushes it. The Tar Heels are in the bonus. Chance for an easy one. First shot is no good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Second shot, no good. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Look at that space again. He goes for three. Excellent jump shot right there. This one might go down to the final buzzer. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. For the bucket. Off the glass and no good. About two minutes remaining. Dumps it in. Number 15 picks up the foul. second and we'll head back down to the other end they work it around the perimeter bad decision there by the freshman For two, can't get it to go. With the layup. Cross court. Let's watch the move as he works his man and not a fadeaway jumper. Pushes it up. He attempts the three. Scorches the net with a J. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Well, the highs and lows of coaching, that's what you call it here, Dick. Hey, you've got that right. You could be on cloud nine one day, and the next day in the dumps. I've said it before, you've got to have thick skin to be in this business. Back to the live action we go. 
The Huskies running their zone offense here, Dick. Well, the key to zone motion offense is you got to get good ball movement. If you get good ball movement to get the zone to really slide and use the skip pass to make it tough for that zone to adjust. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. Silly mistake. On the left side. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. He knocks down the jumper. Shot clock is dead. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I tell you, that big guy they have that can step out and go inside is really special. He gives you that flexibility, which makes the offense multifaceted. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Two-point game. The Huskies set up into their zone motion offense. Well, the key to zone motion offense is you got to get good ball movement. If you get good ball movement to get the zone, they really slide and use the skip pass to make it tough for that zone to adjust. That about wraps it up. We're all set for the finals. We hope you'll join us as we wait and see who will take this year's title. We'll see you tomorrow. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us. Dick, let's take a moment to look at our players of the game here today. These two kids were awesome all day, Brad. They both played their hearts out. Their coaches have got to be happy.